How much did our three weeks long Norway road trip cost? We will find it out in this video. Let's go. Hi and welcome to Bad North, the show where I give you insights on a Norway road trip and also the series Nothing Bad North. Today we will have a look on the cost of our Norway road trip. We'll have a cost breakdown, very detailed. And it was something that many of you wanted to know back when I did on our way down from North Cape my Instagram poll. And if you are interested in the Norway road trip where we went and also how we slept, I will briefly answer it. So we traveled 20 days through Scandinavia, started in mid of August in southern Germany and ended in the end of August. We spent 19 nights in the car doing car camping. And if you are interested in our car camping setup, I recently uploaded a video with a tour around our camper and you will find it either here or down in the video description. You will also find there are two other episodes of Behind the North where I explain in detail the route we did and you will also find there the link to a Google Maps, my maps I created with our individual travel route that you can get inspired for your own Norway road trip adventure. So before we dive into the cost of the road trip, I want to mention that I watched a lot of videos like this from other YouTubers in advance of this road trip. And yeah, I got the impression that Norway is a very expensive country and also that the trip will be very expensive. But to be honest, it was less than I expected what we spend on a road trip. And I will also give you not only the hard facts, the numbers, but also tips of how you can save money on your personal Norway road trip adventure. Let's start. Fuel costs make absolutely the biggest part of the Norway road trip cost since we are rocking 9,500 kilometers on a Norway road trip in just 20 days. And gas prices in Norway are way higher than in Germany. Sometimes we paid even one euro and 90 cents uh, per liter of fuel. And in total we spent 1,019 euros and 66 cents. And this is also a point where I can't add a lot of tips for saving your money. So if you have an electric car, use an electric car. If you do a road trip from Germany to Norway or in general to Scandinavia to fuel up first in Germany before you cross the border to Denmark and also fuel it up in Sweden, but Norway is really expensive. The next point, ferries, is also again from the transportation cluster and we spent 254 euros on ferries. We had some more expensive ferries like the one from Fehmarn, Germany to um, Denmark. On our second day, we spent 100 euros alone for this ferry, which was really expensive. So it had also a very bad um, price distance ratio. On the other hand, we had the ferry from Bordeaux, from um, North Norway to the Lofoten Islands, where we spent 90 euros for a ferry that took us in three hours to the Lofoten Islands. So yes, it had a better price um, distance ratio. So then there were many smaller ferries in Norway that took us from one side of the fjord to another and we had quite a few of them. So I expect it to be way more expensive, but when um, the receipt arrived, it was around 40 euros, which is totally fine. Number three, supermarket. So we spent 222 euros and 10 cents on food in the supermarket and almost half of it was in Germany. So one day before we left, we went to Aldi, which is one of the big discounter chains here in Germany. And we got a lot of stuff, um, also stuff that's not getting worse, so you can restore it. We had a ski box, so we tried to stuff it as much as we can with food. And it lasted us surprisingly long, so we only had to get in Norway fresh stuff like eggs, like bacon, meat, etc or milk. This is a very big point where you can save money because food is very expensive in Norway and we pay just for the small little items and not for too many items the other half of the 200 euros, which is still pretty great. So I honestly expect it to be at least double 
of what we now have. We never went eating out, so we never went to a restaurant or something like that on a road trip um, just to save costs and it's very expensive in Norway and this is also a big point where you can save money on your Norway road trip. Number four, toll. So unlike here in Germany where you can drive for free on the Autobahn without paying any additional toll, um, Norway has a toll system and also some parts of Sweden do have a toll system. So yeah, you have to pay for driving on specific sections on their highways and also tunnels. They have a lot of tunnels, they have a lot of bridges. So in total we spend 212 euros and 37 cents for a toll in Norway and only roughly around um, 63 euros were from that in Norway, which was way less than I expected. What was um, surprisingly expensive was the Øresund bridge from Denmark to Sweden, which we had to take on the way up, but also on the way down back home, um, which was each time almost 60 euros, and then another bridge in Denmark on our way back home, uh, where we spent a bit more than 32 euros. But yeah, in total for um, the distance we did 9,500 km, I think you can't complain about 212 euros in total. Number five, camping grounds. So we tried to hit a camping ground every second night and in fact we almost did. We spent eight of the 19 nights on camping grounds and spend around 138 euros and 93 cents, making it 17 euros and 37 cents per night on a camping ground, which was also again surprisingly less. We saved even though a lot of money by not staying too many nights on camping grounds. And we did this with uh, wild camping, which is totally legal in Norway. So as I told, Norway is for me the most beautiful country in the world and the Norwegians know this of course and they also know the spots where tourists want to go most like Prekestolen and Trolltunga and that's where we spend a whole lot of money for just parking, not for camping, just for parking. Um, for example, we spent almost 60 euros for parking at Trolltunga and almost 30 euros at Prekestolen and yeah, for just those few attractions, we spend almost 100 euros um, to be exact 97 euros and 76 cents um, on a few parking spots at very popular tourist locations. But given all the beautiful experiences we had at the places like Brickestone, like Trolltunga, or also um, stepping on the Everporten on the Foten Islands, I think it's totally worth it. And yeah, if you're up in Norway, just um, yeah, swipe your credit card or <laughs> your PayPal, however you pay there. Um, yeah, just close your eyes and swipe um, because otherwise you will just complain about it and you don't enjoy uh, yeah, the beautiful scenery and the beautiful attractions. We move forward on to the lower cost parts and I start here with um, the money we spent at the drugstore. So, in advance, we got here in Germany sunscreen, toothpaste, and we also spent around 10 euros for an outdoor shampoo, which you can use when you want to um, yeah, take a shower um, in a lake. We didn't do this too often, but we used it at least. And yeah, I think um, that's good to support or yeah, to protect your environment. You want to leave it as you found it, and therefore, those 10 euros were also well invested. In total we spent 29 euros and 6 cents at the drugstore, but I can also recommend once more just get your stuff in Germany. In general in Germany the stuff like food but also um, the stuff from the drugstore is way more cheaper than in Norway. So here a good point to save on that. A brief point, hardware store, we spent 10 euros and 83 cents at the hardware store. What we got at the hardware store, we got an insulation mat for the windshield of the car, um, hoping that we could avoid um, 
yeah the fogging in the car but it didn't work um, so yeah it was like five euros for nothing and we also spent another five euros on um, spirit for the train gas stove which we used in addition to our gas stove bakeries are the second class part of the calculation so we spent 10 euros and 34 cents in bakeries for bread and other stuff uh, we often got bread from the supermarket that's why it's not that big and it's also one tip i can give you get your bread in norway at the supermarket it was quite good so uh, many lunch breaks we just had the bread also when we were hiking we just um, had a few layers of bread and also with some cheese etc which was quite nice last but not least we spent two euros and 41 cents on public toilets so many public toilets in Norway are for free but two of them were paid and yeah you can unlock them with your credit card which is quite nice so we didn't really use cash in Norway we always paid with credit card we only ran into issues um, at camping grounds where uh, we paid the next day but we wanted to shower and um, the showers on camping grounds are usually with coins with krona coins and we didn't have one if you plan to stay on camping grounds just bring a few krona coins but everything else in Norway you can do cashless just with your credit card So before we get into the final cost of the road trip, I want to mention what I will not include into the final calculation, which is the gear. So since I was not that camping experienced, I got a lot of camping stuff in advance of this road trip, but I think it's not fair to count it into the calculation because many of those items are for uh, the use also on other road trips on other adventures and therefore you can't really count them in but if you want to know which items we specifically got just let me know in the comments and i might make another episode of behind the north where i go through our camping gear in detail that you can also get a little review of the different items of how they performed on our three week adventure. But now let's jump back to the final calculation. So in total, we spent 1,997 euros and 62 cents. And to be honest, I'm very surprised that the calculation shows me that the trip was way less expensive than I initially expected. To be honest with you, I expected it that we would pay around 1,500 to 2,000 euros and maybe even more per person on this trip. And now we are even under the magical 1,000 euro mark on the per person scale. One thing I did not include in the calculation is the cost for the wearing of the car, like maintenance costs and also the loss in worth for driving 9,500 additional kilometers with the car. But I think you can understand this, or I hope that you understand this, because it's very hard to measure. And I was only surprised, I hope you're also surprised, and I further hope that you are more excited now about doing your own Norway road trip. And I hope it was really helpful for you. And maybe you say now, hey, Norway is not that expensive as I thought if I apply the tips that Silas gave me. I hope you will visit Norway as well. I can highly recommend it. It is yeah, the most beautiful country I ever visited. It's also the most incredible trip I ever did. And also a trip I think I will look back 20, 30 or even 50 years from now when I will hopefully uh, be able to watch the show Nothing But North, which is coming on this YouTube channel very soon. Here's the trailer, go check it out. That's it for this video, that's it for this long cost breakdown video, but also a very detailed cost breakdown video. I hope it was helpful, subscribe for more, and I'm gonna see you in the next one, bye.